Hey hey, so welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna do um like basic contouring. Like I've had a lot of friends that have just said I don't really know how to do it, like I don't know. I just put my foundation on, put a bit of bronze around, like so this is beginner how to shape your face and like create whatever you want going on. So welcome if you like the video please subscribe do the thumbs up press the alarm so that if you get any videos then you get a notification so i've got another video so go thanks hey guys so we are going to hit into contouring today it is a massive taboo for beginners to look what is it I don't know how to do it. Now, when I first entered makeup, which was not professional makeup, which was 28 when I went back to college. So, contouring, I just thought you slapped a bit here, slapped a bit there, like just to make sure you've got cheekbones and stuff like that. But actually, there's a lot more to it than I thought, anyway. Um, basically, my teacher told me the most perfect face is an oval face and you're imagining an oval on that person's face and whatever you want to get rid of or hide then you darken and anything you want to bring to light like a high cheekbone then you lighten that is literally all there is to it but obviously everyone has got a different face shape and well not everyone suits the like number three contour that Kim Kardashian does. I've got a big chin, so I want to get rid of that. My nose is like really wide, so I need to contour that down. Like, I've got an all right jawline, like, jawline. I've got an all right cheekbone, but straight on, I've got no cheeks. So, if you're just looking at me straight on, without that little, got no, unless I'm like this. So, it's just there to give us a little bit of help. I have picked up from Superdrug their own range, Sculpt and Highlight Contour Stick. It's double-ended. That sounds really dodge, but it is. So, we've got the... Oh, it's day from me using it the dark side the brown side and the highlight side and they're on a pen swizzle so well cool to just keep that in your handbag but now I will show you so I've laid down my base makeup I've done concealer I've done my eye makeup and I've done my brows the reason why I've done my eye makeup and my brows is because it can change your face shape just having brows and eye makeup on some eye makeup can drag out and make you look like you've got a nice little frame here or some can squish it down and you want to bring it back out with a bit of contour so best do eyebrows eye makeup lay your base foundation and then you can go in with drawing lines on your face so now I'm gonna go in with the dark side I've got a really large forehead so I want to bring that down so I'm just gonna go in right, and obviously think of her line as well so that's gonna be over there but this side like really needs it so, my jawline, cheekbone, cheekbone, my cheekbone is fairly good, so we just do a thin bit, but I want to create a cheek, so I'm going to go up and round just to carve that out. Yeah. 
So now my chin is quite long as well. I don't really like it. I want it's quite like a manly chin. Unfortunately, I took after my dad and my sister took after my mum. So I got the manly chin. So we are gonna. Hide the chin a bit. And now the nose. So mine's really wide. So I'm going to take a little thin brush because that is too wide to do your nose with. Take a little thin brush and just start carving out basically the shape you want your nose to be. You see that already. Like I've got a definite definition there, whereas it's just like big hooter. So now we go in with highlighter. So obviously I want cheeks to pop out. So we are going to do the triangle. I'm going to do it. I've never done the triangle. I usually just do like a bit of a. But we'll try it on this side. We'll try it and see how it goes. So at this point, as a beginner, you can look at your face and go, what the frig have I done to my face? Once you've marked up your face and things you want to hide, things you want to bring forward, time to go in with this bad boy. So I would recommend that you wet it either with setting spray, I like to use setting spray, or just water, um, or a mist anything you want just wait so that the product doesn't go back into your beauty blender like it actually like compacts it into your face so we're gonna start with the dark first and you just dab 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 see already And you're just slowly blending it out. See, I have cheeks already.
See if you literally just dab away. And it will all just nicely blend out. So if you notice I'm using that end to carve in, not patting the thing because I want that to blend in the most and then I'm using the side for the white. I do quite right with Superdrug's open brand stuff at the moment. They've got a cheek and a lip tint, which I'm going to use in a minute. And it's just like, it just gives you that puff. I thought that was a bit, <laughs> it was just my <laughs> So can you see now that we have cheeks? Right then, so what we're gonna do is pop in with a bit of blush. This is the cheek and lip tint from Superdrug Zone brand. They've, they've got a few different colors, which is quite nice, but quite a few places use a brush and actually it makes it blend out a bit better than just trying to put it on and then blend it out just like that and then done so dab a bit on you don't need a lot can you see that mm. oh. I love it, it doesn't look like powder just sat on your face, it's worked in and blended in, which I really like. Plus, now, use it a lip. And I'm not actually one for wearing lipstick, like I will on a night out, but I don't like lipsticks, like the feel of it day to day. So this doesn't dry lips out as much as a lipstick and I don't have that like thick texture on my lips that I don't like. So it is. Like, I'd say that is worth it, especially if you kept that in your handbag and you just needed like a little touch up during the day. Cheeks and lips in one go. Buff, 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 buff. So you can use your fingers if you wanted to do cheeks, but a brush like makes it look nice. So we're going to go in with the Revolution Pro HD palette, the powder contour palette. So I like to set with these two and then I like to bronze up with the others. So I'm just taking a large brush and just pack.
And I'm gonna go in with my fun brush. I'm just re going over my contour. And now it's just fun a little bit so it don't look quite white. Right then, so highlighter. We'll just pop in. I have got Strobing Radiant Balm. If you can get into it. It's from Winky Looks. And it's just a cute little... Jelly highlighter. It's a little cream. Little goes a very, very long way. Like I've literally just no idea. So wipe a little bit off. Again, you're just going in to accentuate everything that you lightened to bring out. And there we are. We are ready to hit the tap. Or just go out. I'm there. Right then. Cheers. Thank you.